I know you guys love seeing what I picked up at the Goodwill outlet, so today I have a full haul of everything that I picked up just for you. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Erlia, otherwise known as Marty Chick, and if this is your first time on my channel, I am a full-time reseller and I make a ton of reseller content and thrifting content over here on this channel. If you guys like that and would like to see weekly videos from me, click the little subscribe button down below and also tap the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. I'm going to have a lot coming out within the next month. But if you're looking for another way to support my channel, if you like this sort of content, make sure that you've hit the little like button down below. Um, it helps me out a ton and we are going to head into the Goodwill outlet. So I went to the Goodwill outlet right outside New York City and some people had already started putting out carts like right when it opened, like they had already filled up carts. So when I'm in here, I'm actually looking for a lot of different pieces. So I might be looking for vintage denim, leather, on-trend items, and that sort of thing. But sometimes fabrics or just like specific patterns can catch my eye. Um, through here, I found this nice leather jacket. So let's keep looking here. There were a lot of good vintage items in here and I did find a few select ski and snowboard items as well. I found this Urban Outfitters sweater, but I literally have so many of those and they're so oversaturated that I no longer pick them up. Most times I look for, again, those funky fabrics or funky styles because a lot of the florals would be good brands um, and those are really on trend right now. More vintage pieces. I think this is great for vintage pickers. If you're looking for a good place to go, I think this place would be great. Um, I've also been looking for shackets. That's another good one right now. But usually it's just a lot of digging. Like there is just so much digging that goes into it here. These ended up being the only shoes I picked up the entire haul. If you want to learn more about those, you can watch later. Again, more vintage. This top was so cute, but I did have to end up putting it back. Um, so many dresses too, like prom dresses. And I also ended up seeing that someone had dropped off a women's wedding dress as well. So that was something that I saw. So that's here. Oh my gosh, I felt so bad. I should have picked that up, but I didn't. Um, you could definitely tell it was handmade, so just oh, so astonishing to see what's in the bins all the time. But yeah, I ended up with a full cart of stuff, and I'm so grateful to show you guys what it was. So as you guys saw, if you've never been in the Goodwill outlet before, they have these huge blue bins that are just randomly filled with clothing. So when I go, I usually have an idea about what sorts of things that I want to pick up. However, sometimes it's just the look of the draw and you get what you get. So today is one of those times I think I picked up a lot of bread and butter, but also some funky pieces here and there, as well as a recent bolo that I have really been on the lookout for. So I'm just going to be heading through everything. Some of the items, like my bolo item, I am going to be explaining a little bit more, but some of the bread and butter pieces, I think here I'm just going to be showing you and then putting off to the side. Some of these have been listed already, but by the time you're watching this video, all of these items should be listed and for sale over in my Poshmark closet and my eBay store. And lastly, before I even jump into the items here, I feel like I have to address this like bubblegum pink sweater. This is so out of my comfort zone, but I recently sourced this. It's from I Love Mr. Mittens, and it's a handmade in USA sweater. I love this, and I definitely feel like a Barbie doll on this right now, but it's huge, it's oversized, and this is also available over in my Poshmark closet and my eBay store. So the first item I want to show you here is a sweater. I've really been looking out for knits at my local Goodwill bins just because knitwear is usually the hardest thing for me to pick up in the regular thrift store and the buy sell trade store. So if I can find some good basics in the bins for around $2, I will pick them up because usually at the thrift store they're marked $5.75 where I live or if you go to the buy sell trade store they are even more. So I usually look out for funky colors and funky knit styles. I look for cashmere and wool as well because because those are highly searched fabrics but sometimes I just go with what is fun and trendy and occasionally I will pick up some trendier pieces to resell to the buy sell trade store as well so this first item is a Lumiere kind of like confetti knit sweater I really love this because as you guys can tell it has more of a balloon sleeve to it as well which is so on trend right now this is a size small but I just know that this will go super duper fast because of the style and also I probably would wear this myself so if it doesn't go it might be mine <laughs> The next item here is one that you guys should also be picking up right now, and they are a pair of women's snowboarding or skiing pants. 
These are from Burton. These are one of their older lines. I'm a skier, so I do know about this stuff. And they are a size large, and they're just in a basic plain gray color. If you guys can find these in funky patterns, they will go probably a bit faster, but these are a great basic. These have all the bells and whistles to them. Ski wear and ski gear is going to be really hot this upcoming year because I know I saw a lot more people skiing this past year because of everything going on in the world. So a lot more people have gotten into skiing and being outside in the snow. So if you're looking for ski brands, I would look out for brands like Burton, but also the North Face, Arcturix. Let me think, what else? I would say Smartwool is another good one, but really anything that you can find at REI. But if you guys haven't been to the REI store before, I would suggest just like walking through to kind of see what brands that they have currently in stock because those will kind of be what is popular for the upcoming ski and snowboard season. The next one here is a great basic and they are just a pair of Madewell jeans. These are in the slim boy jean style and these were pretty much in perfect condition when I found them in the bin so there's not much to show here but I will show you, you know, just a basic plain style from them. Not a lot of wear on these so if I can pick these up for $2, these usually sell for around $40 for me so these were a great bread and butter find. The next item here was actually new to me and I saw that someone had put them back so I went over and looked at them just because the pattern intrigued me but then I found that they were new with tags so this is the brand Lucy and Yak and after I posted this on my Instagram I found that a lot of people actually do like selling this brand as well what really intrigued me about this brand in particular is that they are an all organic brand so they're really sustainable really fun these pants do fit into the current grunge style but also I just think that they're so fun so I did pick them up I'm not sure what I'll be listing these at yet because these are really funky brand new tags funky style um, so I don't know yet but I think I might head over to Instagram and see who replied that they had also sold Lucy and Yak to kind of see where they priced it at so yeah these great find the next one here is just a basic I usually don't pick it up just because it was a neutral knit I did so this is just a basic lucky brand sweater it has no um, fabric tag so probably shouldn't have picked this up but it is just a basic open cardigan from them um, really easy so it does have the tags on the inside but it just doesn't say the fabric material to it so it's kind of washed off I think it is an older style but again these sell really fast for me so if I can make it easy 30 bucks on this I will take it so when I went into the store for some reason I don't know if there's just less resellers at this particular outlet or something but I did not see a lot of people picking up some of the popular brands that I usually pick up. So there might just be a lot of vintage pickers there or family pickers there. But I did find a lot of coats and trench coats, so I'm really excited to show you those. The first one here was just a basic Sam Edelman trench coat. It has some leopard detailing on the inside. The only thing that I could find wrong with this is that it had a pull on the inside of the lining. So I did note that within the listing, but otherwise this is just a great basic for somebody. And I definitely think that this will sell fast. The next thing here was a blouse. This is a basic as well, but this was from Free People. I, again, love balloon sleeves, and this is a pointel knit sweater. So pointel is a keyword if any of you guys have this type of knit sweater to be using within your listings because people are actively looking for this. A great layering piece, so I picked this one up, and I'm really excited to list this one. The next piece here was actually a new brand to me, and the brand is called Pookie and Sabrina. Sebastian and it had this hot pink tag on the inside. I originally thought that this was silk but actually when I looked at the fabric content tag it just said acrylic so I'm really surprised but it's just a basic sleeveless mini dress from them with some ruching down at the bottom. I looked at some of the comps on the brand itself and they looked good but I'm not sure about this particular style because it might be a bit older but again when I'm going to the bins I am just looking for items that will net me $30 and above profit so this was a good find for that and I thought even if this sat until the spring I would be okay with that. The next item that I picked up was actually on my bolo list and the brand is Marine Layer if I can find the tag there. I think that this is actually their older tag. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments but it was just this gorgeous wool camel trench coat. I know that for fall this will absolutely go. This had some pilling on the sleeves but pretty much was in perfect condition otherwise. 
So I'm really excited to be listing this one. If you guys have any suggestions on pricing this coat, let me know because I'm going to have to look at comps before I list it. The next item here, I was really, really iffy about if I wanted to pick it up or not, but I decided to show it to you guys anyways because some of the things I pick up are not always ballpark items, but this was just a basic moth sweater from Anthropology. This is why it confused me. So it's an asymmetric hem on the top, so I'm going to have to model it, but also it had a lot of pilling on it. It's a knit though, and moth sweaters for some reason go really well for me and sell super fast. So I did decide to pick this one up, but it just looks weird on the hanger. I am so weird about picking some things up. So cold shoulder sweaters and tops I usually don't pick up just because they're really hard to photograph. I usually don't pick up all white items because they're hard to photograph. And this one in particular, I know I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time depilling it and then modeling it. So I probably shouldn't have picked this item in particular up. But just because I knew it would sell pretty fast for me and it's a bread and butter for me, I did pick it up anyways. This next item is also an example of accidentally picking something up. And this was a new brand to me, but it was Claudia Nicole Cashmere. I thought that this would be good because I've been selling a ton of cashmere sweaters and they've been really hot right now for me. And this was just a basic open knit cardigan from them. I thought, oh my gosh, this is great. If you guys are in the bins, you absolutely should check your items for flaws. I thought that I'd check this one pretty well, but when I'd headed home, I noticed that it actually had a big hole in it. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this sweater yet, whether I want to redonate it or whether I want to try and fix it. So it might be sitting in my fix it bin for a little bit until then, but if not, this will get redonated. And I do feel fine redonating that item because I only spent like what, $2 on it, so that's fine, but it is a loss anyways. So if you guys want to cut down on those sorts of losses, Always make sure that you are meticulously looking to see if zippers work, if there's any holes in the item, and what the pilling looks like because the pilling does take up time to remove and fix. And also, if you guys don't have a depiller yet, it is another additional cost to saving that item. So those are just some things to think about when you are sourcing in the bins. We are nearing the end of the haul here, but the next two items are actually coats. So the last time I found this coat was actually a few weeks ago, and it was in a different color, but this is in a Vecle file, if I'm saying that correctly, moto jacket in a size small, but this is super oversized. So the one that I found was actually 2X, and it fit just like this, so this one's definitely, definitely oversized, but it is just a faux leather jacket from them, if I can actually pick it up and show you guys. And it just has a lot of zippers, buckles on it, lots of hardware. It's a beautiful Sherpa jacket on the inside. It does have some wear, but that's totally fine. And this definitely meets my mark for over $30 profit on an item. And I feel like I could list this one with the flaws included because it's really in good condition otherwise. And I feel like someone for fall and winter would really, really love how warm this jacket makes them. Oh wait, actually, I totally forgot another item. So the only pair of shoes that I picked up on this bins trip were these cute little Soul Society sandals. These have a block heel, lace-up detailing, but what's really special about these are that they are real authentic suede. So if you guys can see, there are some little strings hanging off here, so that's a little bit of a flaw, but I feel like they were barely worn, and honestly, I felt really good about saving these. If you guys haven't followed my channel for a little bit, you know that I feel really strongly about saving suede and leather items, so if you do find really nice suede and leather items do pick them up because number one they go for a lot more than other items do but then number two I feel like because an animal literally died to make that item we should definitely be upcycling and reselling those types of items as well and finally the last item then because I was mentioning jackets I actually mentioned this in my 10 brands that I no longer pick up video my most recent one so if you guys haven't watched that go and check that out but I did end up picking this one up because I thought it was so funky. And again, I'm picking it up at the bins, so I felt really good about picking it up. But it is just a Blink NYC faux leather jacket in this pretty brown color. Look at all of those embellishments. This is definitely a fun little moto jacket for someone. And it's a size medium, so usually when I find these, they're like in a size small to extra small, which makes them harder to sell. So for this one in particular, I definitely see the 
this one going fast. So if you want it, it's going to be up in my Poshmark closet for sale. So definitely head over to my Poshmark closet if you want this jacket. I just know it's going to sell really fast. But that is everything that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet recently. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a little thumbs up down below to support my channel and make sure that you're subscribed. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!